when you're looking at the plug and play OBD2 data. Yes. All it's doing is plugging into OBD2 and it's reading that data and showing it to you on the screen. And the boost number that it's showing, because if it's showing it to you in PSI, it doesn't, that sensor doesn't even read in PSI. It actually reads in KPA. Well, so it's converted. most of them will read in voltage, but the, oh, voltage, a, good, yeah. a good data transfer, like say a CTS2 or CTS3, those are pretty decent units for bang for the buck. They're going to transfer the raw data in voltage. They right. might go from from half a volt to four and a half volts, half a volt to five volt, whatever, whatever's mapped out within that system. And it's transferring, it's changing all that over to where you can see it in PSI, but there's a, there's a cap on the voltage, right? So right. some of them may only read to 35 pounds. Some of them may only read to 30 or 28 pounds uh, on any of our bolt-on turbos, the whole sets, the Cummins variables, the whole set versions of those, any of our GT37 based stuff, power stroke, six, seven power stroke, six liter power stroke, like any more than 40 pounds has really taken this thing to a level where we wouldn't recommend keeping it there, right? right? So I, I make that max recommendation of 35 pounds. However, the, the gray area is 35 pounds is kind of where that map sensor would Stop tap out reading. on a lot of different manufacturer stuff in that range.